Why do people get sick in the first place? Here's the big answer. Sickness and even death itself were never part of God's original plan. If our original parents had just stayed away from that stinking tree, we would have never aged, we would have never died, and I would have had hair. <laughs> and we would not be buying Kuwak coffee or whatever it's called because we would have our brains working more effectively. No, but because sin entered the human race, we were barred from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which would cause us to live forever. There's the aging process. There's illness. There's sickness. There's tragedy and all the rest of it. Romans 5.12 says, Sin entered the world through one man and death through a man. And in this way death came to all men because all have sinned. Now, I'm not saying that sickness is a result of someone's personal sin specifically because I believe sickness is a result of sin in general. Having said that, it should be pointed out that some sickness, rather, is a result of personal sin. Uh, earlier in Matthew chapter 8, Jesus heals a paralytic man in Capernaum and said, Son, your sins are forgiven, which would indicate in this man's case at least that perhaps his paralysis was linked to personal sin. That is not to say that all or even most sickness is connected to personal sin, but it is to say that some is. Uh, to another man that was healed in Bethesda, Jesus said, you're made well, stop sinning, or something worse may happen to you. So it is possible God can allow a sickness in your life or an illness. Why? Well, maybe he wants to get your attention. Maybe you don't listen so well. And as the psalmist said, before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I have kept your word. So it is something, of course, to consider. But then again, there are many times God will allow illness in the life of a man or a woman that is walking very closely with God. And that illness has nothing to do with their sinfulness. In fact, the reality is it's because of their godliness they've been afflicted. You say, well, I don't get that. Why would God allow someone who is walking with them to go through hardship? Well, here's one answer. The Apostle Paul had the glorious experience of being caught up and seeing the Lord in heaven. But then he was given a thorn in the flesh, remember? And he wrote about it in 2 Corinthians 12 and he said, to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassingly great revelations there was given me a thorn in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me. Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away and God said, my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness. Paul goes on, so I'm gonna boast about my weaknesses so Christ's power may rest on me. I delight in weakness and insult and hardship and persecution and difficulty for when I am weak, then I am strong. Maybe you have a thorn in your flesh. And by that I mean there's something that keeps you deflated. It keeps you humble. It keeps you dependent upon God. So there's a lot of reasons we can cite, but God does allow sickness. 